y'all? It's BootlegCap1941.com and welcome to my new movie review show. I like watching movies and now I get to talk about them with you. I'm going to tell you whether or not you should red box it or not. Nah. So this week we got to talk about Michael Bay's newest flick. He took his hands and he shoved them unwantingly into my childhood and he took the Ninja Turtles out and now we have a new Ninja Turtles movie. Everyone's been looking forward to seeing this including myself. I was really excited to see it. I actually went to the Ninja Turtles screening wearing a Ninja Turtles bandana uh, and I'm 27 so don't judge me. Ladies, you know what I'm saying? I know you find that attractive. But yo, um, I'm not gonna lie y'all, I was very stoked to see the movie. I wasn't expecting it to be great and I'm glad I wasn't expecting it to be great because it really wasn't great. Uh, pretty much everyone knows the story about the Ninja Turtles. Mutated turtles from a laboratory grow up to be crime fighters and um, the shredder in this movie is after their blood because their blood is the antidote to a chemical that he's trying to release across the whole city to wipe out New York. And of course, they stumble upon April O'Neil, played by Megan Fox, and Will Arnett, who's uh, Megan Fox's homie in the movie. And uh, it's pretty entertaining. The Ninja Turtles parts were great. They were funny. Michelangelo, Donatello, Raphael, Leonardo, everybody's like characters were true to my childhood. Michelangelo was hilarious. But the downfall of this movie is one thing and one thing only. The girl with the funny thumbs, y'all. I'm talking about Megan Fox. She might be the single worst actress in the history of motion pictures. Uh, it was really hard to watch the first 20 minutes of the movie because she was carrying it by herself. It was like nothing but April O'Neil like the first 20 minutes and my god I almost killed myself. It was like trying to watch Paul Walker act by himself in a movie. Paul Walker's... Yeah, is it too soon? Is it too soon? Okay. Uh, who else is a bad actor? Vin Diesel. I don't know. Well, they're both in the same movie together. You understand what I'm saying. Megan Fox was probably the downfall of the movie. And I might add, Michael Bay, he needs to stop fucking with my childhood, man. First the Transformers, now Ninja Turtles. Come on, fam. Splinter was kind of cool, a little creepy, but kind of cool. Shredder was badass. Ninja Turtles were cool. But overall, unless you're like a super Ninja Turtle stan, go see it in the movies. But if not, Redbox that bitch. And that concludes this edition of Redbox or Nah.